So in 2016, Medicare began reimbursing clinicians for engaging in end-of-life discussions with patients at any office visit. Past research has demonstrated the importance of what is said during end-of-life discussions, particularly on patient illness understanding. However, little was known about the importance of whom on the care team um, patients meet with to engage in these end-of-life discussions. So we were particularly interested in looking at the effect on patient illness understanding because the majority of advanced cancer patients are unaware that they are terminally ill and patient illness understanding is associated with factors such as preferences for uh, life extending therapy versus comfort care and also predicts chemotherapy use and hospice enrollment. So uh, we interviewed advanced cancer patients before and after a restaging scan discussion with their oncology provider. Uh, both before and after this discussion with their provider, we asked them what their cancer stage was. Uh, so specifically, whether their cancer was early, middle, late, or end stage. And then after their restaging scan discussion, we also asked them whom on the care team they had met with to discuss their restaging scan results and we asked them whether they had discussed an end-of-life topic. Uh, so specifically, uh, whether they had discussed prognosis, curability, uh, life expectancy, or goals of care at the end of life. Uh, the patient population was all advanced cancer patients, uh, so they, were, they all had metastatic solid tumor cancers that had progressed on prior chemotherapy regimens. Um, the majority of the cancer types were either GI, uh, thoracic or ovarian, and all of the patients had a life expectancy of six months or less. Uh, the patients were all 21 or older and were recruited from uh, seven different uh, cancer centers around the country, such as Memorial Sloan Kettering, uh, Parkland Memorial Hospital, and Yale Cancer Center. So we found that patients who met with their oncologist to discuss their restaging scan results were three times more likely to acknowledge that their cancer was late or end stage relative to those who met with a nurse practitioner or an oncology fellow. Uh, furthermore, we found that in the subset of patients who had uh, discussed an end of life topic, so uh, specifically either prognosis, curability, life expectancy, or goals of care at the end of life, out of that subset of the uh, sample, uh, those who met with an oncologist were four and a half times more likely to acknowledge that their cancer was later end stage relative to those who met with a nurse practitioner or oncology fellow. We think it's probably because of a combination of reasons. Uh, so first, the oncologists are the most authoritative figure on the cancer care team, and the influence of authority figures on messaging and behavior is well documented. Uh, furthermore, at least based on our sample, oncologists seem to be engaging in these discussions more frequently, and so over time, through practice, they have, may, may have learned uh, better language and more comprehensible language uh, to use with this patient population. The take home message is that it is vital that oncologists be the ones to engage in restaging scan discussions and end of life discussions uh, with advanced cancer patients because based on our findings they are most effective at promoting uh, patient illness understanding. And like I mentioned before, patient illness understanding is uh, extremely important because it's associated with uh, factors such as um, preferences for life extending therapy versus comfort care and also predicts end of life outcomes such as uh, chemotherapy use and hospice enrollment. Um, so simply put, the better patients understand the reality of their condition, the more prepared they will be to make informed end of life decisions that are consistent with their values.